Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? How are you? It's me, Mr. Fork Scaler. You know, a lot of you have been asking me, hey, you know, what do you think about the latest uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay footage from Rockstar that was recently released uh, on IGN and many other platforms out there as far as the uh, media? Um... It's pretty much the same gameplay. It's just this one happened to be in 4K, so I chose to do this one, record this one. Uh, well, it's exactly what I expected. You know, I expect nothing but great stuff from Rockstar. You know, I, I can't remember last time that Rockstar has disappointed me. Uh, I mean, honestly, <clears throat> when was the last time the Rockstar has disappointed us? Uh, people say Bully. Bah, bully was still fun. You know, it wasn't a bad game, but uh, it was still fun. It may not be up to your standards, maybe, I don't know. But I can't think of any other game that Rockstar released. Even L.A. Noir was, was interesting. So having said that, you know, knowing Rockstar, I know that these guys are going to put hard work into it. Uh, they have money, uh, they're a multi-millionaire company, uh, worldwide net, it's like in billions, and uh, they have all the necessary tools, and all the necessary means to make a great game happen, meaning they can hire actors, they can do mocap, they have big studios where they can work on it they have all the necessary resources you know with different studios uh, everything wardrobe i mean i can go on and on and on these guys they have money you know they're in la uh they're like hollywood studio pretty much but for the games right now at this point they're like a hollywood studio but for the video games so they have all the resources and they got everything they need now let me talk about uh how I feel about this trailer and the gameplay and what I have seen, okay? We'll talk about that now for a little bit. Uh, I just wanted to get this out of the way. The obvious elephant in the room, obviously, is the rock star, so you know you're going to be getting a great quality game, all right? That should be obvious. So how do I feel about uh, Red Dead Redemption 2? Well, first of all, graphically, it looks hell of a much better than what we had previously on the first Red Dead Redemption. That's not to say that the first Red, Red Dead Redemption didn't look great. It looked great for its time since PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360, but that was a long time ago. Things have improved since then. And uh, what we're seeing here, it's truly amazing. It's like work of art. It's like watching a cgi animated movie uh it almost looks as if i wanna watch this instead of play it you know it, it feels that way and it's that good and the draw distance the textures the shadows the anti-aliasing everything here just looks amazing now i don't know if this is the uh, xbox one x version or PlayStation 4 Pro version they're showing this. I'm probably guessing this is the PlayStation 4 Pro version that they're showing here. Uh, again, as far as resolution, I don't know. Uh, this is a compressed 4K. It's not a true native 4K. It's a compressed 4K from IGN, meaning that it was probably running on 1600p upscale to 4K. Now, 1600p source resolution upscale to 4k it's pretty pretty darn good i just want to state this guys when you have a really good source of 1600p being upscale to 4k that is pretty 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 darn good it's not true native 4k but it's pretty darn good 4k okay pretty darn good upscaled 4k all right because uh, you're getting a really good source high resolution. Now, I'm just guessing here. I don't know, guys. I'm just guessing. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be 1600p, all right? 
maybe it's going to be 1800p. If they can push this on PlayStation 4 Pro with 1800p upscale to 4K, uh, that will be great. Or maybe they'll go checkerboard way of doing it. If they go checkerboard 1800p, that's great too, man. That's even that's even better. Uh, that means we're going to be getting a really good sharp uh, 4K HDR quality here. All right, guys. Uh, now, in terms of Xbox One X, I'm probably guessing it's going to be a 1900p, 1900p uh, upscale to 4K. Now, if Rockstar can fluctuate that between 1900p and native 4K, 1900p and native 4K, if they can fluctuate that, then that would be great. That would be great. But look, I'm just guessing here, guys. Everything I tell you here is just my thoughts. The reason you're watching this video is because you want to hear what I have to say. You want to hear my opinions about this. You want to hear my thoughts on how I feel about Red Dead Redemption 2. Because there has been a lot of questions that are being posted onto my forums, Facebook and whatnot. How do I feel about the Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay? Uh, well, I feel exactly the way I felt the first time around. I said, you know, it's Rockstar and what I'm seeing here uh, looks excellent. Graphically looks excellent. Uh, it's going to be nothing short of uh, a masterpiece when it comes out. There's going to be plenty of DLCs. Uh, maybe they'll drop a, a Halloween DLC or something, you know, because the game is just around the corner for the Halloween. It's going to be released on October 26th, and the Halloween it's on October 31st, so it's just a few days after that. So this game will be released just in time for Halloween and just in time for holiday season november you know it's only a one week shy of november because november really it's when the season starts and when people start buying stuff and whatnot uh i think even before that in october people start buying stuff for christmas uh so this is the the holiday type of a game you know and it's gonna be a huge game i think with this game that's all you're going to need to play for holiday season. Uh, this game will keep you busy for a long, long time. Especially with all the DLCs they're going to release and whatnot. You know, Thanksgiving DLC, uh, Christmas DLC, whatever they're going to be putting out there. Uh, uh, it's going to be a juggernaut of, of a game. You know, the Rockstar has spent a lot of time working on this game. They, they put a lot of effort and time into this game. So, you're going to see a hefty, hefty maybe 80 plus hours, maybe even more of, uh, of a gameplay. That's if you take your, that's if you don't rush, you know, if you take your time. I, I think you can push maybe even further. And not to mention the open world, the fact that you can go anywhere, do anything, you know, the, the replay value on Rockstar games, it's a one thing that always stands out, meaning that you can always play this. Even after you finish the game, you can go around, do a bunch of other different things and whatnot, uh, added DLCs, multiplayer, uh, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. There's a truckload of stuff to do on the uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Okay, so you'll be playing this for the holiday season. You'll be you'll be fine, okay? You don't have nothing to worry about. This and Black Ops 4, I guess, and Battlefield 5, uh, you're more than good. Um, so how do I feel? feel great i mean it looks fantastic now the only question is what are the differences going to be between playstation 4 pro and the xbox one x graphically i don't think we're going to see that much of a huge like difference i think graphically they're both going to be identical because they're both going to be using DirectX 11 okay they're not going to look that much difference the only difference you will see is whenever they release the PC version, the PC version is going to be the most superior version, obviously, whenever the PC version comes out. Rockstar likes to release their games first on the console, make the sales, and then later on do the PC version. This is how Rockstar has been doing it, and I think they're going to do the same thing here. 
And of course the PC version is always going to be superior because it's a PC version. Uh, but for a console, uh, I think graphically they will look both identical. The only difference is going to be some is going to be the resolution. Uh, how is it being rendered? You know, it, it, are they using checkerboard on PlayStation 4 Pro, which I believe they will? Is it going to be 1800p uh, checkerboard? Or is it going to be 1600p checkerboard or 1800p? If they can go with 1800p checkerboard, that's pretty, 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 pretty darn good news for PlayStation 4 Pro owners. Okay. And then if they do 1900p on Xbox One X, that's also great. But is it going to make you want to switch to the Xbox One X just because of 1900p? Not necessarily. That's not going to be something that your eyes going to be able to see right away or something that uh, everyday Joe or everyday Mary will be able to detect right away with their own two eyes okay if if Xbox version is able to pull native 4k with HDR then yeah then you're gonna have uh, truly the best looking version out there on the console you know what I mean there's no question about that. I heard a rumor. Now, before you guys start typing in the comment section, nobody knows if it's going to be in native 4K. That's just a rumor. So please do me a favor. Don't type in. I know you're a happy Xbox fanboy and you want to type in on a keyboard. It's a native 4K HDR. That's just a rumor. Nobody knows for sure if it's going to be a native 4K HDR. It hasn't been confirmed. Rockstar hasn't confirmed it. Xbox hasn't confirmed it. It's just some fanboyistic uh, spread rumors that are floating around, okay? And we all know from where it's coming from. I'm, I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to name these YouTube channel names. I don't want to give these guys a spotlight. But we all know from whom it's coming from, all right? Nobody freaking knows if it's going to be a native 4K on the Xbox One X. Those are just the wishful freaking thinking, okay? We'll find out in mid-October. Once Digital Foundry gets the early copy of this game on the Xbox One X and PlayStation 4 Pro, then we're going to know exactly what's going on. Until then, it's just a rumor. So, so please relax, okay? When the day comes, mid-October, right around the corner, when the game gets set to release, then we're going to know exactly what resolution uh, these two consoles are running on because this this game will be released only on two uh, Consoles PlayStation 4 Pro and the Xbox One X and don't worry. I'm gonna have both versions I will have both versions and I will have both versions put side by side for you guys to look at and I will give you the resolution on one side and the resolution on the other side and what methods of resolution they're using if it's a checkerboard or if it's a native 4K, okay, so I'm going to give you, or it's a dynamic resolution, so I'm going to give you exactly what they are using, all right, but until then, we don't know, but I just want to say this, graphically, I think both versions will look the same, graphically, both versions are going to look the same, the only difference is going to be that resolution. HDR is going to be HDR, whether you're on PlayStation 4 Pro or on the Xbox One X. Okay, the HDR is going to be the same, and the graphics are going to be the same. The only difference is going to be that, that resolution. What type of resolution method are they using? Are they using checkerboard? Are they using dynamic? Does it fluctuate between 1800, 1900 uh, P? What are they doing? Uh, but we're going to find out come October. Don't expect native 4K on the PlayStation 4 Pro, guys. It's, it's most likely going to be checkerboard. I know it's a wishful thinking. We all would like to see that. It's just that the console uh, just doesn't have enough horsepower to, to render this gigantic game uh, in, in a native 4K. It's just not going to happen, guys. It's just technically not going to happen. Uh, and I'm being just... I'm being technically honest with you, you know, but that's okay. Look, if they can pull 1800p, I'm okay with that. 
But even 1600p, I'll be okay with that. Checkerboard 1600p or 1800p, I'm happy with that. With 4K and HDR, that type of a 4K, 1800p checkerboard with HDR, uh, I'm, I'll be happy with that, dude. I'll be fine. That's going to look really great upscale to 4K. Uh, as far as the Xbox, I'm trying to be technically, technically reasonable here, too. People say, but they did Red Dead Redemption, the first one in 4k that's because that's an old game dude it's an old engine old game uh, a little bit easier to render this is a newer newer game newer engine that requires more horsepower to render all of these uh graphical enhancements with rectx 11 so i'm being reasonable here i'm looking at probably 1900p and if the xbox x version can do 1900p that's almost near 4K. That's like really uh, just at the edge of the uh, native 4K. Uh, and when you upscale that to 4K with 1900p, you're going to have a really sharp, almost near 4K type of uh, picture quality. And if Xbox One X can do 1900p with HDR and these graphics, then of course the most uh, best looking version is going to be the Xbox One X. Now, Let's be fair. Uh, technically, the Xbox One X version should look the best. And the Xbox should be able to pull 1900p. Okay. 1900p, it's a pretty, pretty darn good resolution. You know, I don't think this... Here's something I want to say. I have a lot of subscribers, but I also feel a lot of subscribers are not that much educated on just... What a difference that is. 1900p, it's a pretty darn huge amount of pixels. All right? That's pretty darn sharp than 1080p. Okay, that's pretty darn sharp than 1440p. Meaning that when you have a 1900p upscale to 4K, you're almost getting near 4K native resolution. Almost. Almost. That's pretty sharp. And when you put that with the HDR, you're going to get a really great looking game. So if that's the case, if that's the case with the Xbox One X version, then guess what? The Xbox One X version is going to look the best. And the Xbox One X version probably is going to be the way to go. But until then, we don't know. So let's keep it till then. Let's wait till mid-October when all the results are in and then we'll know. So for right now, this is my thoughts. This is how I feel. Hopefully, uh, this video makes you uh, gives you some idea on how I feel about the whole thing, Red Dead Redemption 2. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.